Hi, I'm Don, and this is The Hobbyist Geek. Today we're going to be continuing on with issue four. This time we're going to be doing stage nine. We have our parts, we have our magazine, so let's get to it. So here are the parts list for today. Nowhere near as many as stage eight. But uh, we have the uh, Feist, Fast Idle Cam, uh, the Idle Cam Bracket, and the Support, uh, the Fuel Inlet, the Choke Cap, uh, the Carburetor, uh, Air Filter, uh, Air Filter Side, air, air Filter Inlet, Air Filter Cover, Air Filter Screw, and a Fuel Pipe, and the number of screws. So we're going to take uh, the start off today by taking the uh, idle cam bracket and the idle cam support. All right, and we're going to attach those things together. There we go. Just like so. There's a little. Uh, going all the way over there. There's a little pin here. It's going to go right in there. I'm going to use a BP screw to hold it all together. Okay, nice and tight. And then we're going to take the fast idle cam itself, and this is also keyed right there. Go right in there, just like that. And this time we're going to use an EP screw to hold this together. Be very careful, I put a little too much pressure on this, trying to get it all together, nice and tight. And now, this is a little off, so I may have to glue it back on. That's about as good as it's gonna get right there. And this is gonna go right into the carburetor here. I'm just gonna attach just like that. We're gonna use a GP screw to get that one in. <clears throat> and then we're gonna take uh, the fuel inlet here, and that is gonna go on the underside of this right here. It's facing that direction. And this will be another GP screw. All right, last but not least, we got the choke cap. And that's gonna go into the carburetor, just like so. And one more GP screw to save the day. And we're going to take our engine block here, and we're going to lay this right on top like this, and push that puppy in all the way. And now we are going to take the fuel pipe. We're going to attach that here. The other end is going to go in here. Look at that. Now it might be worth a uh, while to glue those things in. We'll see if we have issues with them popping off as we continue our assembly. Hopefully not. A little play here in the carburetor. But I think we'll be fine. Now we gotta assemble the air filter. So, 
we're going to start with the, uh, the, the sides here. And, <clears throat> excuse me, we're going to take the inlet and it's going to have to go right in there. I'm looking to see if this thing is keyed. It doesn't appear to be. Let's see, it goes right in like that. I'm going to use an EP screw to attach it. Next up, we're going to take the air filter itself. We're going to place it right on top of the carburetor. And again, it, it is keyed. So we'll take the carburetor, place this thing right here. carburetor is on an angle. Didn't even realize that. All right, so that thing is uh, set right on top. We'll take the sides. And there's a little notch on the uh, air filter. It's going to go like that. little tiny notch. Might be easier to put it together this way. There we go. And this obviously has a little notch right there. The air filter cover. That notch also slide in. There we go. There's a little bit of play here, but it should be okay. I'm gonna take a DP screw. We're gonna drill it on down to get this whole assembly permanently attached. And now we take the cap here. Just gonna put that one in. It is keyed, only goes one way. Push that in to cover up the screw. And there you go. The uh, air filter and carburetor fully assembled and attached to the engine. A lot less play now that it's all screwed in. There we go, stage nine complete. Uh, things are certainly looking up. Um, the the air filters on here, it's actually covering some of the hoses. So uh, all that detail that we were putting in, some of it you can't even see when it's fully assembled, at least not from the top down. But uh, uh, still, I know it's there, and you know it's there. This is going to be fun. All right, well, uh, one more stage left in this issue, and, uh, and then we move on to the next. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, uh, like, share, subscribe, leave me a little comment, and uh, we will see you next time. Have a great day. Bye.